C Sharp has finally been released for Unity's Project Tiny, and along with it comes the Dots Editor, but what exactly is that? Let's take a look, shall we? As the documents state, it's a set of workflow features and a specialized build pipeline that allows you to create small, lightweight HTML5 games and apps in the Unity Editor. The reason this is useful is because we can make things like Facebook Instant Games and playable ads. Unity has achieved this by using a subset of the .NET Standard 2.0, which means normal .NET functionality that you might be used to may not be present in this mode, but it's required if we want our code lightweight and fast. To get started, make sure you're using Unity 2019.2.ob3 or higher then go to the Package Manager under Window, Package Manager. We will then want to turn Show Preview Packages on underneath Advanced. After that, find the Project Tiny package and click Install, which is located at the bottom of the menu. Unity has provided us with a few example projects to help you better understand how to use the DOTS workflow. Simply click the Import in Project button next to the sample project you want within the Package Manager. Then you'll be able to look through the different projects by opening them through either dots open project or double clicking the dot project file in the root directory of the created tiny project. After we install the project tiny package, we can go to dots new project and create a new project. But to open a script that we create, you'll need to go to assets open dot c sharp project, which will open your preferred editor. If you use Visual Studios, you'll want to right click the name of your project and click Set as Startup Project, then make sure Windows.NET Debug is set in your configuration. If you use JetBrains, change your IDE into Solution Mode by clicking Unity in the Explorer pane and changing it to Solution. Also make sure your configuration is set to Windows.NET Debug Default. You'll also want to edit your run configuration so that your selected project opens when you click play. After doing this and running the game at least once in the editor, and every time after making a change within the inspector, we will be able to run the game straight from within our IDE without having to go back into Unity to compile our game. If you're lost and aren't sure how to use Project Tiny, make sure you look through the example projects and the documents. I'll also be releasing a video on how to make Snake with the new C-Sharp version of Unity Tiny in a few days. But until then, have a wonderful day, and if you enjoyed this video or are looking forward to the tutorial on how to make Snake with the new C-Sharp version of Unity Tiny, consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. But until then, have a wonderful day.